Aloha, welcome back. Today we're going to be making a cocktail where the garnish is the star of the show and the garnish is actually ice. Sounds crazy, I know, but if you look at old, old tiki menus from a long time ago, you're going to see something called an ice shell. And what happens is you put this into a coupe glass and it's kind of like a canopy to keep the drink cold, like a little umbrella over the drink. Now, obviously, this won't work with something like this uh, V-shaped martini glass. It's got to be a coupe. Smaller the better. This one's the smallest one I could find, but it's a double-sized coupe. And when uh, the mixologist gave me this recipe, he said, well, that's only half a recipe. That's only half a glass. And it's funny because I made the recipe exactly to his uh, measurements, but because I couldn't find a smaller coupe, it looks like it's half the size, but that's okay. Um, I can't really find these smaller coupe glasses. I know you could find them online, but then the issue is, is I got ordered like dozens of them. I don't want dozens of them. So I, I picked this one up at one of those um, kitchen stores, and it's double the size. But I'm going to show you how we do this. I went on, uh, I guess it was Amazon or eBay or one of those, and I got this hand crank ice shaver. Very simple goes into the plastic base and you take some smaller ice cubes and you just put them in there. I didn't want to buy an electric one because I'm not going to be using it that often. So you just push this down and as you can see we have our ice. Now the thing I don't like about this, this was very inexpensive. I'm, I'm guessing it was less than 20 bucks. Um, some of this blue plastic sometimes comes off because of the sharp razors. And you see little specks of blue in there. If that's the case, I don't know, just pick them out. We're not gonna be drinking this, although it will melt into the glass. So what you wanna do is just gently form it to the shape of the glass. Clean hands, of course. And this is something that if you're going to be having guests over, or you're going to have a few of them, somebody special, whatever the case may be, you're going to want to make these way in advance. Once you get this shaped like this, you're going to stick this back in the freezer. And this is going to take, I don't know, about a half hour to melt. Then what you want to do is you want to take it back out. And then you want to just push this up to its side and leave this on its side so it freezes again. Now, as you can see, I could probably even stick it in there like this, but I'm afraid that this is a little fragile. If you go online, there's some people doing this. Um, a lot of people recognize these from the Mai Kai in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, uh, but they put more on the bottom. I don't think that's necessary because if you have this glass in the freezer, the glass is gonna be pretty well chilled and so is the the ice garnish and the, obviously the longer you keep it in the freezer the colder it gets and the longer it holds its shape so if you want to do this and you can only do them one or two at a time or you don't have enough room in your freezer yeah you want to put aside at least an hour for each one like i said give it time to freeze refreeze stick it back in there and leave it in there as long as you can only once after you've made the drink then you pull it out of the freezer and pour it and it holds its shape pretty well as you can see now the drink is fairly simple. It's just an ounce and a half of rum, half an ounce of lime juice, quarter ounce of honey mix, quarter ounce of falernum, and shake with plenty of light ice in a flash blender. And because this is only an ounce and a half and most drinks are two ounces, sure, you can make this a double and then you got three ounces of rum in there. Then it's a little bit more stronger than a standard pour. So there you have the Chairman's Special Reserve. But again, you can make any cocktail in this that needs to be double strained and put into a coupe or cocktail glass, daiquiri, Hemingway's daiquiri, Special Reserve. There's a lot of them out there. The star of the show is a really cool retro ice shell that sits in the glass. And it's a conversation piece too. People are gonna wanna know how you did it. You know, they could probably figure it out, but that's how you make it. Till next time, cheers.